Hello and welcome back. Our topic for today will be about finding the derivatives of equations in implicit form. Okay, before we start solving derivatives, let us first identify which among these equations are in implicit form. Yes, the first three of the four equations are written implicitly. Now let's move on to the rule on how to differentiate equations in implicit form. The rule is, differentiate each term of the equation f of xy equal to 0 with respect to x, bearing in mind that y is a function of x. Now let's start solving. The first problem, find the derivative of y with respect to x. We solve for y prime of x squared plus y squared equal to a squared. So take note that a here is a constant. Again, the rule states that differentiate each term with respect to x bearing in mind that y is a function of x okay so now let's differentiate the first term x squared will be 2x y squared will be 2y y prime it should be noted that y prime is equal to dy over dx Now, the derivative of constant is 0, okay? Since 2 is common in the left side of the equation, we can eliminate that 2 by dividing both sides by 2. Thus, we have x plus y, y prime equal to 0. Now, let's solve for y prime by transposing x to the right side of the equation. Thus we have y y prime equal to negative x. Then divide both sides by y to eliminate y at the left side of the equation. Now we have y prime equal to negative x over y. And this is our answer. Now let's move on to our next problem which is x plus y raised to the power of 2 equal to 2ay. So please take note again that a here is a constant. Okay, so let's move on to differentiating this equation, starting with the left side of the equation. Using power and chain rule, the derivative of the left side is 2 times the quantity x plus y times the derivative of x plus y, which is 1 plus y prime, okay, equal to, the, left, the right side will be 2a times y prime. Now the next step will be, we simplify. We eliminate the grouping symbol, we combine like terms, and then we arrange the equation solving for y prime. I just multiplied both sides of the equation by 1 half to eliminate 2, giving me x plus y times the quantity 1 plus y prime equal to a times y prime. Now eliminate the grouping symbol at the left side of the equation using FOIL method. After doing the FOIL method to remove the grouping symbol, we now transpose the terms with y prime to the other side of the equation. So in this example, I have interchanged the positions of the right side and the left side of the equation. Now I have a y prime minus x y prime minus y y prime equal to x plus y. Since at the left side of the equation, y prime is common in each term. 
I will now factor out y prime, giving me y prime times the quantity a minus x minus y equal to x plus y. Now to solve for y prime, I will now divide both sides of the equation by a minus x minus y, giving me the final answer. y prime is equal to x plus y over a minus x minus y. I have another way of writing the final answer for example number 2. Retaining the positions of the terms in the left side and the right side of the equation, I have now xy prime plus yy prime minus a y prime equal to negative x minus y as you can see y prime is common in each term at the left side of the equation thus we can factor out y prime giving us y prime times the quantity x plus y minus a equal to negative x minus y now, solving for y, we divide both sides of the equation by x plus y minus a. Now, we have this final answer, y prime equal to negative of the quantity x plus y all over x plus y minus a. That's it.